Since its deployment into orbit, the James Webb Telescope has proven to be a game changer. Every day, NASA reveals astounding new findings from the telescope, as if the vast cosmos is simply waiting to be explored and new things are ready to be discovered. It's as though we're on the edge of discovering something monumental that will change our reality, from casting doubt on the Great Big Bang Theory to showing breathtaking images of vast galaxies, the James Webb Telescope is altering our view of the universe. The universe's vastness is just overwhelming, beyond human understanding. Did you know that in 2016, it was estimated that there are around 2 trillion galaxies in the observable universe? And what do these galaxies contain inside themselves? What secrets are lurking within the universe's vast abyss? Perhaps we shall never know how vast space is. However, technological advancements such as the James Webb Space Telescope have greatly expanded our horizons. Thanks to the mind-boggling revelations of these iconic observatories, we have discovered that huge mysteries exist inside the grandeur of the cosmos. It's no surprise that space is so vast that it's strewn with endless mysteries and strange things. And scientists have lately discovered a significant discovery. Join us as we explain how NASA recently revealed an image of a mystery object that appears to have arrived from another solar system, comparable to something you've never seen before. NASA has disclosed never-before-seen pictures of 2i Borisov, the second known object to have traveled outside of our solar system. A distant spiral galaxy can be seen off to the side of the comet in the image, but it is the image's vivid blue center, which was recorded by the Hubble Space Telescope as it followed the comet through space, that attracts attention to it. The image displays the comet as it passes through our solar system on its route back to interstellar space. On August the 30th, 2019, amateur astronomer Gennady Borisov noticed a moving object while looking up through his homemade telescope. This moving point of light, now known as 2i Borisov, turned out to be the first confirmed comet and the second foreign object to visit our solar system from a region outside the influence of our sun. Astronomers from all over the world hurried to examine the object with some of the most powerful existing technologies in order to understand as much as they could about the mysterious visitor. Observations with the Hubble Space Telescope and the National Radio Astronomy Observatory's Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array ALMA, revealed that 2i Borisov has a unique composition. Although different sorts of stars are possible, it has more carbon monoxide than any comet detected at a relative distance of around 300 million kilometers from the Sun. Scientists believe the comet originated around a red dwarf, a smaller, fainter kind of star than our Sun. Another theory is that I Borisov is a tiny carbon monoxide rich planet fragment. Comets are ice, dust and frozen gas snowballs that are about the size of a small town when entirely frozen or dormant, but may stretch for thousands of kilometers when heated by the sun. 2i Borisov is roughly 9 football fields or 0.98 kilometers long. Nature Astronomy has published the most recent findings regarding the comet's makeup. All comets originate in the early material disk surrounding a developing star, retaining traces of the planetary system's distant past. Comets from our own solar neighborhood reveal the history of the elements that went into creating Earth and our other planetary neighbors, including water. An interstellar comet, on the other hand, is a chemical emissary from a completely different star system that contains a lot of information about worlds that are too far away for space travel. The comet 2i Borisov was spotted by NASA's Hubble Space Telescope in October and December of 2019. It flew across the solar system at an astonishing 177,000 kilometers per hour. The images show a glowing nucleus, but the nucleus itself was too small for Hubble to observe. Hubble images taken in March 2020 indicated a significant shift in the appearance of the comet. Rather than the previously single brighted core, the pictures revealed that a small part of the nucleus had cracked away. Scientists will continue to utilize Hubble to monitor the comet. Borisov spread like wildfire over the world, but after a week of global observations by amateur and expert astronomers, researchers were able to trace the darting visitor's course and determine its extrasolar origin. Between December 11th, 2019 and January 13th, 2020, scientists Borowitz and his colleagues 
utilize Hubble to observe two I Borisov. Separately, on December 15th and 16th, 2019, a group of international researchers led by Martin Cordiner and Stephanie Millam, as well as NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland, observed the comet through ALMA, a network of radio telescopes located in northern Chile at a height of 16,570 feet. Radio telescopes can be used to see the cool, low-energy gas found in objects like comets. Based on a high carbon monoxide to water ratio, the comet originated from an ice zone comparable to the Kuiper Belt, which is the region where Pluto is linked to the Sun. A red dwarf, the most prevalent kind of star in the Milky Way, may have served as the starting point for 2I Borisov, according to the Hubble Utilizing Team's theory. The material that forms planets around red dwarfs would be cooler than the materials that make up our solar system. Because these stars are smaller and less luminous than the Sun, their low temperatures and luminosities are perfect for the formation of comets with the ingredients found in Comet 2I Borisov. Regardless of what sort of star 2I Borisov originated from, astronomers using ALMA suggest that it might be a fragment of a dwarf planet with a lot of carbon monoxide near its surface. And experts believe the carbon monoxide rich fragments may be launched into space if that object crashed with another. The ALMA team speculates that 2I Borisov may have simply formed as a comet with a high carbon monoxide content or it could have formed with an extraordinarily thick covering outside that protects frozen gases like as water and hydrogen cyanide. As the more combustible carbon monoxide vaporizes or outgasses, it may appear to be more abundant than other cometary gases. Borisov's unusual properties may also suggest to a broader diversity of carbon monoxide in comets than previously thought in our solar system. Whatever the solution, 2I Borisov introduces a whole new set of challenges to cometary research. The two locations in our solar system where most comets are discovered are the Oort cloud, which is considerably farther away, and the Kuiper belt, which includes Pluto. All of these comets most likely formed closer to the Sun, but they may have been pushed farther away by the chaotic movements of Saturn and Jupiter billions of years ago and comets may have even been launched away from the Sun and toward other stars due to these massive planets' powerful gravitational pull. Given this context, Hubble astronomers hypothesized that 2I Borisov was tossed our way by a huge planet in a red dwarf system that resided in a frozen carbon monoxide environment. Many of these comets, according to Bodowitz, might be ejected if a planet the size of Jupiter moved inward. The ALMA team agrees that the comet was most likely launched on its way by a young moving planet, claiming that 2I Borisov made its brief meeting with our solar system after a cold, lonely journey, at which point it began to leak gases and expose its interior to us. According to Hubble and ALMA's discoveries, 2I Borisov has more carbon monoxide than other comets in our solar system. Borisov is rapidly moving away from our Sun and will soon re-enter interstellar space, never to return. The Sun's gravity marginally alters Comet Borisov's course, but owing to the comet's direction and high velocity, it cannot be caught and brought into orbit, unlike our Sun and its family of planets. Borisov was born in a distant star system which might be younger or older than our 4.5 billion year old solar system. Most of the time, gravitational interactions with Jupiter have caused comets that originated near our Sun to be evicted from our solar system. Thus, it's possible that Borisov was similarly expelled. Although scientists have not directly witnessed the surface of a Borisov, comets in our own solar system have rough surfaces that are periodically covered in smooth layers of ice and dusty debris. Borisov is too tiny to sustain its own atmosphere due to a lack of materials or mass and as a result gravity. Borisov, on the other hand, has fallen into a coma. A coma is a dust-filled cloud of gas that surrounds the nucleus of a comet formed when ice is melted by solar radiation and dust brushes off the comet's surface and into space. Professor of Astronomy and Planetary Science at the University of California, Los Angeles, David Jewett, whose team got the finest and clearest images of this first interstellar comet, said that the Hubble provides the most accurate estimation of the nucleus's size which is the most crucial component of Comet Borisov. The Hubble images show that its nucleus is far smaller than previous study had predicted, about 15 times smaller, 
with a radius of little more than 500 metres. This is crucial because determining the size helps them to estimate the overall number and mass of these objects in the Milky Way and solar system. Considering Borisov is the only observed interstellar comet, they'd like to know how many more there are. Only one additional extrasolar visitor, dubbed Oumuamua, was discovered in 2017. After passing the Sun at a distance of 24 million miles, it blasted out of the solar system. Scientists couldn't learn anything about it because of its fast speed. Despite being described as a comet sighting, experts are still unsure whether it was an asteroid or a mix of the two after it rushed past the Sun on September 9th, 2017 at a dazzling speed of 87.3 kilometers per second and revealed no indication of cometary activity. Before more recent measurements revealed that it was slightly accelerating, indicating that it behaves more like an asteroid, it was reclassified as a comet. Now that scientists have observed two unusual interstellar objects, they expect to see others and compare them to those. Let us know what you think of these mysterious objects in the comments section below.